I want to talk so much about the results can as I, about can I have a drink? everything. Yes, you may. Like you need another. Uh, the things that led up to both Greg, your election, and Lloyd, when you were appointed and then running again, the establishment crowd, whoever they are, and I think it will pretty much be wherever they are, don't have any problems laying out complete falsehoods about what's been happening, why it's been happening, and who's responsible for it. And a lot of it is covering their tail for the things that were done in the past. I'll let you guys elaborate on that a little bit. The letters, the oh, yeah. all of that. Yeah, well, one of the MOs of the Satellite Beach uh, Good Old Boy Network is doing the sorts of things that Lloyd just, by, by the way, that's not an isolated incident. There are, there are cases that go way back on folks who who try to do what we have been able to do, but 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 didn't have a group like we had. It was onesie twosies over multiple years, and, and every single one of those people um, were intimidated to the point that they that they quit. Um, so that's kind of the mo. Um, and we we also realized that part of the mo became uh, letters, anonymous letters being sent out throughout the campaign seasons, both campaign seasons. Um, there were anonymous letters sent out. Um, uh, just, I mean, talking about Lloyd's issues, um, you know, and and just with complete disregard for the truth. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't challenge all those effectively in a timely manner. And depending upon how they come out in the campaign cycle, um, uh, you know, you just can't, you try to inoculate yourself against these these falsehoods. But sometimes it's just so. Um, the, the falsehoods are so creative that you can inoculate yourself. You go, where the heck they come up with that one? Um, but so, it, and, and I got to tell you, they used it to their best. They used it to, to, to their best advantage in, in this last election. Um, but again, I, I think the difference was that, or I think what 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 got us in this election were those two issues: a, uh, folks being uncomfortable. Because let's face it, anybody who reads Florida Today, which I don't know how many of you do, I know, I know I'm going to quit, but. Um, for those of you who do, you will you would notice over this past year that Satellite Beach has been in the press quite a bit, uh, and the reason is is because folks weren't comfortable, or that that I should say that the debate that was going on over this past year was very vigorous and at times contentious, uh, as it should be in any good government. But uh, the folks who live there just were was uncomfortable with the fact that Satellite Beach was getting such such press. Um, and then I think the secondary issue was even with positive results. Even with positive yeah. results, and, and, and I think the second, well, what, what I don't think that they could comprehend was it was that it was that process, that uncomfortable process, that led to those positive results. And I just don't think that they can they can comprehend that. And then I think the second issue, which led to that or was part of that, was the whole um, getting ready to take on the tough the, the tough issue, which was the first, which were the personnel issues. The pretty lady in the window. Looking lady in the window. I also think we made a conscious decision on this last election of the people running. They did not want to go negative. They wanted to try to Good keep point. everything very positive. We, they went negative, and we never responded yeah. in a negative light. We tried to keep everything positive. That's a very good and point. And huh? people, uh, the negative resonates with people where if you try to stay positive, people don't focus on that. And, and that i got to tell you, Rob Feltner. Who, who was our campaign manager, was their campaign manager, and, and had been mine? He was telling us, he goes, "You guys, you gotta, go, we gotta, we gotta go negative." And in their case, it wouldn't have been easy because it would have wouldn't have been lying. You know, I mean, we would have been able to tell the truth. It just would have come out negative. So, but we didn't do it. Randy. Um, yeah, you're Randy. I, I know. Hey. Hang on, so for so long. Um, did less people vote for y'all this time than previous times, or more? No, I think it was about the same amount. It was that, just more people came out overall. To me, that's the absolute only difference between your election and Romney's election. That, yeah, mean, that's a good point. Honest people, evil people, honest people fighting, evil people destroying. Yeah, but how I think you, we're... How do you yeah. I, mean, I, I don't have the strength that you do to keep your character high. How did you do that? That's why God made alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, do you have something?
need you to be a little louder because we're not hearing you well. I found myself in the house with the mayor, at the mayor's house, and with Pape on the with John. Two sitting council people, and they weren't even running that year, trying to brainstorm a hit piece against somebody else that was running, two people that were running, and was trying to put the, the CCC's name on it. And they were going to send me money and, you know, under the table on it. And I, 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 I almost fell for this. And the next part, this, this has got to be illegal. It's, there's just no way I'm going to fall into this situation. You know, uh, for one thing, the group never even voted on it or anything. These people were trying to get me to back their hit piece for somebody they weren't even, they weren't even running. So they that will, and, and again, that's another example of what the established <laughs> politicians will do. The other thing that I think came into play in Satellite Beach Guys was that an uneducated electorate who has had faith in those good old boy people for 25 years have no problem believing the lie. And I, I could not believe the negative things that folks would say to me, including my very own pastor, saying, you know, I don't think you're getting the truth out of that Billman and French guy over the budget because they're talking about debt that's not really debt. And it's, Pastor, we'll go to lunch. I'll be glad to explain this to you. That lunch didn't happen because one of the guys who was part of the Good Old Boy Network actually goes to my church. I don't think he pays attention, but he goes to my church. And people are willing to believe the lie because they don't have to. Yeah, it's easier than believing they have to work on the truth. Even when the pages from the audit are there that list the debt, exactly. they will say, well, that's not debt. Dana? Um, the other thing that 